Notice the video is a bit dark. That's because of the exposure rate. That is pretty much on high or very low. One of them, the very bottom corner, sorry, corner right, the corner left of you. That is pretty much the old camera, which you're looking this one. This one is a high definition one, but frankly, they look the same. But I'm not going to fuck with the image because I just rearranged it. Looks a bit trippy. It's a bit out of sync. Now, let's uh, get to the video. I got the wheels. They are mounted to a shelf with a magnet along the floor. Yes, on the floor, but held to a shelf with a magnet because there's steel and it grips the rim. Because, you know, there's no tire on it and all that. Blah, blah, blah. Now, I still have to wait three weeks before the shop gets pending the fucking uh, factory doesn't fuck them over to get a new chain ring because the chain they put on it apparently does not fit yes it does not fit I mean no it does not fit the uh, chain ring so they gotta upgrade it and I guess I got my wish hopefully it's not such a big one where it'll make it impossible to pedal up the fucking hill if you know what I mean Smaller is better, you know? Smaller is better. So, I have to wait up to three more weeks. Oops, six. So, I can actually get back on the road again. Yeah. Oh, I still got the scooter. I had to renew the Metro Pass again. And, yeah. Oh, you want to know how I got the wheels? I had to go right up to UPS because I, I changed the delivery to drop it off at the... Oh, fuck. Drop it off at the depot. And, uh... Because the delivery person simply dropped... Or stuck the sticker in the common area and did not even bother to ring the fucking doorbell. What can you do? I made that complaint over there politely. No, I don't curse, I don't belittle, I don't berate, I don't treat people like shit. I simply make a legitimate complaint. And it turns out it's a very common problem. Yeah. So. I picked it up at the location, showed my ID, had to pay duties. Well, you know. I don't care. And... So, I got the wheels. That's the good thing about it. Why the fuck was that crooked? Okay. <sighs> Last minute changes. Oh. The other part is... When I was dropping off a... A coiled phone cord. You know, the receiver cord that connects to the phone. Into the electronics recycle bin. Because mine went kaput for the phone in the hallway, so I gotta, I've yet to go to the dollar store convenience store, the one that actually sells the shit, hopefully they still have any they still have some left I gotta replace that for one of the ordinary touch tone phones cause it interrupted a phone call and I thought they hung up on me, turns out it was the cord that was dead, so I put it in the electronics recycle bin and I came across this plastic bag that was in it. I thought it was just food stuff. Because people sometimes do stupid shit. And they throw food into the electronics recycle bin. And other recyclables. Which I have to take out. Because I hate seeing that shit in there. It goes in the recycle bin. Not in the electronics recycle bin. Regardless. There was two USB mice in there. They worked. They're in the donation bag. Queued up and ready to go to Value Village when I get time to do it. Uh, there was a broken, obviously broken charger and plug for a two-way radio. And no two-way radio in there. There was a broken micro USB cable. A fixed charger, which I ruled out. And uh, then... And yeah, I recycled that, obviously. And the other thing, I put whatever was broken, I put back in the electronics recycle bin. Then there was a lightning cable, which I have yet to actually rule out if it works or not, because I don't have an Apple device. Sorry. And uh, 
then there was this, uh, well, later found out about that, uh, Huey P30 Lite. The phone was, did not have a cracked screen. The battery is just fine. It's got 128 gigabytes of storage. That's a Whopper. Although, no 4K video. It's not blacklisted because I put my SIM in it. It takes two SIMs or one SIM and a memory card. So, that's nice. But it does not support eSIM. Something I don't really care too much about. But still, that would have been very convenient if it did. If it was a later version of it. Anyways... I threw my fucking SIM. I had factory reset the device, you know. There was no password on it, which some just don't care. So I just simply removed the Google account. There was not much information on it. Only eight photos of the floor, the wall, the ceiling, and of a piece of tissue, and a transfer, and maybe a set of keys. That's it. So I just deleted that. I heard the accounts on there, which is a snap of the fingers, and factory reset it. I wasn't uh, dumbfounded about the factory reset protection, which is nice. It's got its own custom version of Android. I think it's 10. The software says 10.0.0, but no, it's probably Android 10. And, uh, yeah. I just can't believe that. I took the broken screen protector off. It led me to believe the screen was cracked, but no, it was working fine. I was obviously thinking it was water damage, but no, it was not even that. It was clean. It didn't have a similar memory card in it, unfortunately, but it would have been a nice treat. Okay, uh, the only problem with it, it's missing the glass camera shield. Yeah, they probably dropped it, and that fell out. I don't know where the fuck that ended up, but I don't care. So, I'm probably going to end up putting a piece of tape over it. Or, I could just trace and cut with precision, and i got to be careful doing that. My scissors, depending. A compact disc and stick that in place you know scrape the label off the damn thing you know the label off the optical disc is a way of getting it off cut the acrylic glue it, file it to be a shape and glue it in place and that's it it replaces the camera lens or cover and here's the fun thing with some dual camera devices dual camera so that's no three camera two of them are dummies because the official software on it does not allow you it does not zoom it does not do that shit well yes it does have its own zoom but the other two cameras are dummies they don't work I went through all the features of the device is default camera software that comes stuck with it and nothing the only one camera that works is on the bottom. The other two are lemons or duds or dummies. So, just like this device, this camera does not work. This one does. That's the funny thing. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how many more devices have the same dummy cameras put in. They got maybe five or six cameras. And yet, only one or two work. That's something to do, uh, verify for yourself. If you're considering getting a phone with so many cameras! You want to make sure that actually all the cameras work on it. And you want to make sure they are not dummy units. Anyways. That device will come in handy as a spare. And to note, I am trialing out Bell's Lucky Mobile in an incompatible or in a device that's incompatible with Freedom Mobile. That is a Blackberry Bolt 9700. Signals all over the fucking place, but it makes me get used to the device. 
No, I do not have my email put on that thing because I know it's going to be discontinued by January 22nd of next year. So, yeah. TuneIn Radio is the best thing for it because it's that old. And most websites won't even load in the browser. They won't even load no per many. Or partially will, but most won't. But TuneIn Radio works just fine. I could also use it in that dual SIM unit. Nice. Anyways. That's really all I gotta say. Oh, wait a second. One more thing. And if you made it this far, I'm shocked. The Samsung S7 Edge, my mother's phone that she doesn't use no more, has been properly and, you know, appropriately turned into an IPTV set-top box. I pretty much have a prepaid IPTV service, and that's a brilliant fucking amazing thing. So, it's prepaid, which is nice. Thankfully, it's not a monthly ongoing term. So, at least I'll be able to supplement Bell TV service with that. Who doesn't want 70 fucking thousand channels? So, I have that now. It goes by playlists. And uses a stock service, so that's fine. I use a GSC, IPTV, whatever the fuck that is on that device. It also works a VLC player too, and in Linux Mint, Hypnotics, which I have on here. And if you want to see it, I can show you it, which I fucking will. I'll just launch it here. And it's fucking amazing. It comes with Linux Mint, and it works beautifully. It was not hard to configure. I just have to put the login information. Here it is. Whoops. Holy fucking shit. There we are. Okay. There it is. It shows 20,000 channels. Yeah, that's what it is. 20,000 channels. Who doesn't want 20,000 channels from all over the goddamn world? Let's just choose something from Iceland in general. Uh... Fiji TV. Just to prove it to you. Although I may need a VPN for this crap. Yeah, I'm probably going to get to... Oh, it'll change that channel. I'm probably going to need a VPN for that because that's probably not going to... Oh! There you are. Uh -oh. Well, there you go. That's to prove it. Yeah. That's nice. It also has a moving series which I don't really give a shit about. But, you know... Nice, isn't that? <laughs> Hopefully Content ID doesn't see that. Uh, anyways. Yeah. It's only $22.90 Canadian a month. I just did the conversion for American. $18. Regardless, it's a... It's going to be a great supplementation. Because Bell's TV, the offerings... And you got to pay a fucking kidney for that anyway. If you want to get every single channel. Of all the packages... I'm paying half or a little one quarter of all that for it. So that's nice. I'm not a big TV person, but at least I can catch channels from all over the goddamn world. Now that's nice. Anyways, I just thought I'd mention that. I'm just waiting on an MHL cable so I can plug that Samsung S7 Edge into my Sony Bravia HDTV and then I have a set-top box that runs on batteries well the TV doesn't because I don't have a backup system if the power went out <laughs> what can you do it'll be connected by Wi-Fi because you can't just wire up a Samsung device so anyways uh, that's about all thank you for watching shocked you got through this far but hey it is what it is Feel free to subscribe for more, and I'll catch you next time with the next video.